going on, everybody? Once again, I'm Van Gaither, back with another episode of Platinum Mites, here with my co-host, Counterculture Robs, and we are back to talk about, what are we talking about, man? The state of the state of the culture, Donda, the Kanye album. His mama. His mama. We got mama. a lot going on with this one. We've been going back and forth. We kind of going to freestyle on y'all today, man. We had some other stuff we were going to talk about, but with this new Kanye release, this album, we both had a chance to take a listen to it. I've got my thoughts. Told my man I don't even want to know his thoughts because I want it to be fresh and original. I want that shock value. Counterculture, <laughs> what's good, man? Uh, I'm good, man. You know, uh, I'm not familiar with Kanye West uh, as far as his catalog because it's not my go-to or, or stuff that I, I choose to listen to when I'm listening to music. Uh, so, you know, I got to go into this fresh. You know what okay. I'm saying? I had no expectations uh, of what to expect uh, from his music being unfamiliar with that so you know i i i think this is a uh something solid that i i kind of like doing that too so you know it's a whole bunch of music that i could do that with well, yeah, so you know this is, is not tainted for the most part yeah 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 so you know i'm 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 not gonna because he used to be one of my favorite producers you know back when he was on his come up okay uh, i probably didn't stick around with him when he started rapping you know what i'm saying not everybody's a rapper but you know hey, yo, I'm Kanye, just, stick to producing <laughs> I'm, I, so, I, so I, you know i may have missed out on a lot of good music in okay. retrospect that i get to you know dig in the crates and, and pick back up and see what it is well you can't find no crates now man they out here doing the damn stupid ass digital crates man come on man. <laughs> i know i know <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just been a whole climb <laughs> But that being said, man, ain't no need to prolong this. Go on and dive in. What you thinking, man? This Dunda album. I'm, I'm going to let you go first. Go ahead. All right. So um, I listened to this joint several times, several times, uh, you know, going back and forth to work and just let it go on repeat, you know. Uh, and and first, first time I listened to it, you know, I'm like, this ain't my brand of depression. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, it's definitely depressing. You know, it's like. He's taking me to church. You know what I mean? It, it feels like, you know, this is holy roller music. So I'm like, all right, yeah, this initial run through, I'm, I'm done. Uh, it's really not what I am interested in. Okay. Um, now what made you go back and give it another take? I mean, just, I mean, I'd say the majority of West Side Gun, which is my favorite Gazelle artist, majority of his albums first run through. Supreme Blind Tale when I first heard it. Ah, but then when I started playing it over and, and, and listening and, and all that, now that I got that initial what I'm expecting out the way, I right, now let me see what he's talking about, sit down and listen. And that's what I did with this. So, you know, um, sometimes you just don't fill an album when, when you first run through it. Now that you run through it, what are you thinking? Uh, some things have grown on me, right? So oh, yeah. wait a minute. we got to be fair now. We uh, Jesus Lord, the one with J Electronica, we got to throw that out. The joint with West Side Gun, we got to throw it out because them your favorite artists anyway. Those are the first two I went to immediately. So before we, before we even knew we were going to talk about this. So we got those are the only two songs I ever wanted to hear on that album. And, and that's why I said that because me and you both went to the same. So we got to take those out. Right, right, and that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the other stuff that you know. Uh, then I went to the Pop Smoke joint. Go from there. I mean, Pop Smoke. I just want before we get into that, man. I just want to say, man, all the speaking of Pop Smoke, dude around the way the other day, man, lost his life too early over some senseless stuff, man. This stuff going on, man. Nigga rap, huh? Nigga rap, yeah. With the music, do what now? With the music. What you mean? With the music? Who got control of his SoundCloud? <laughs> I, mean, I need to hear do? that shit. What they got to do again? Kill. I'm just saying. I need to hear that shit if you're a rapper. What What they got to do with it, dog? I'm just saying. Dude, we done lost King Von. We done lost Pop Smoke all I, over some senseless I wanna, stuff. I want to hear that new nigga who just got pop. What's, what's he spitting? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Wait, My man. bad, though, bro. <laughs> Keep hold it up. moving. So you trying to say, you, you, hold <laughs> up. Keep it moving, bro. Too soon, bro. Cut. <laughs> hold up. Nah, don't Did keep you... this, bro. <laughs> keep going, man. <laughs> no, but that being said, though, take me through this Kanye album. Let me tell you what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this album is a disrespect to the culture. I think he cheated the culture on this album. What you mean? When I listen to the production, it sounds incomplete. It sounds dark and depressed. And I don't want to make fun of the guy because I think the guy might be suffering some kind of mental illness. And I'm not going to make fun of someone that may be going through that because that's a real issue there. But when I listen to this album, miss me with the genius stuff. Our society has been dumbed down. It's to the point now Kanye can release an album and tell everybody, 
here's a CD with no music on it, close your eyes, then you'll hear it. Fool's gonna come out saying, I hear it. Mm -hmm. It's okay not to sit at the cool kids table. This mm -hmm. album is hot garbage, dude. Hot garbage. Hot gar let, me, let me put it to you this way. God damn. You go into a studio, <laughs> hot garbage, dude. You go into a studio, this is what you come out with. You've never released an album before. You're counterculture Rob trying to get a record deal and you give it to the a and Universal. Are they going to keep this music? No, they're going to kick it back. So the only reason they're accepting it is because it's Kanye, which means it's not good. It's that cult thing. Because it's Kanye, we're going to accept it. No. Be like the New York Knicks fan and hold, fans and hold them to a higher standard. Be like the Philadelphia Eagles fans and hold them to a higher standard. Don't accept any product that they give you. This is garbage. So, so from the from the music from the production standpoint, I guess I'm standing on the opposite end of the spectrum. Where you going? Because when 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 I said back in the day, when he had all his beats tattooed on his arms because right. he was that fresh in the game, uh, to see where he's evolved to now. Because like I said, this ain't typical stuff that I want to listen to. You think this is evolution from late registration and college dropout? Bro, I haven't heard those, so I don't know nothing about that. Okay. I'm talking about from when he was producing, but I'm just saying okay. what this is. Some of that stuff, even though I haven't heard him, it sounds like familiar Kanye, uh, but it's it's a vibe. It's, it's, it's a, a dark vibe. It's a, it's a, it's nah, a, nah, that ain't a dark. It's a dark, depressed vibe. Uh, I guess I, I'm not there. I'm too happy I, of a motherfucker to I be there. I got you. Because, yeah, that ain't a dark vibe. You know what I'm saying? But but it, it is different, you know, hummy type. Mm -mm. Like, all right, I've been in plenty of studio sessions okay. where, you know, I'm listening to somebody spit something and it might not be it. And then I can have enough insight to be like, yo, you, hey, try this cadence. Uh, 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 what, whatever. Right? So, okay. and that's kind of how I feel. That's what Jay Electronica like he's, did he's on that joint, Jesus, Jesus Lord. I was about to turn it off until Jay Electronica came on. Once Jay came on, it gave it bred life into that song. A lot of people saying he killed that verse too. He did. Yeah, that's my man. Yeah, I, Jay I, Electronica, I, he saved that song. I fuck with him heavy. Hey, I see why. Seems redundant though. He, talk to me. I mean, I, I listen to enough Jay Electronica to know that you know. It's nothing I, new I, from him. I, I, right, right. He's always spitting that shit like like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He he he's. You know what? If I want to hear Holy Roller music, I'd rather hear it from him. Or, or, or Kanye? Kanye? No, no, from, from Jay Alec. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Because he's spitting knowledge, knowledge, okay, knowledge, now, but knowledge. See, that's my thing about protecting the culture. When Jay Electronica is going in, it sounds like he believes in what he's saying. When Kanye is talking, it sounds like I'm going to give these people what I'm going to give them, and they're going to accept it because I'm Kanye. All right, so I'm not going to say that Electronica don't believe what he's saying, but it's got I more feel, conviction behind I, it. I feel like, you know what, he knows about that, all that, uh, that lane and the stuff that, like I said, you remember Tupac when he was Hennessy, enemy, whoopty whoop and all that bullshit, you know what I mean? I, didn't, I don't just say that. People think that about Tupac, right? Uh, dude, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I ain't saying nothing, dog. But, but, but the way he got that same yeah. redundant cadence, mm -hmm. sometimes Electronica gets in that bag. So I can understand why, you know, maybe I only want to put out an album every 10 years. Some some people maybe don't have that... Um, diversity? Diversity and creativity uh, to, to give you different layers. And that's what I think Kanye has given me, the, whoa, this is some diverse Christian music. <laughs> Whatever he is, you get what so I'm saying? So you're feeling it. You're feeling the Dunder album. Uh, I, I don't hate it. Okay. You know you what I'm feel, saying? You don't feel How, like he cheated the culture. Cheated? What do you mean cheat the culture, Man, though? You know what I'm saying? This album is garbage. The music sounds incomplete. The production is off. And maybe I'm just being too hard on the guy because I'm looking at his previous work. And that, that Pop Smoke joint definitely was incomplete, though. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I feel like we done ran that well dry you know what i'm saying yeah. leave pop smoke music alone you know what i'm saying it's over he wasn't he wasn't that diverse to give you you know what i'm saying he only just started rapping maybe a couple two three years ago what you, you can't one use his, uh yeah about one album two three mixtapes you know what i'm saying yeah. but you can't use all of his outtakes uh to put together it's too nah okay. some people don't Hold need up. catalog after they Hold they up. gone back let's to check my on point. your man though back to my point i don't know what he's spitting hold up back to my point <laughs> cheating the culture so now I'm going to go get this Pop Smoke dude that's popular, throw him on my joint as a benefit. Because to me, Pop Smoke wasn't at that point yet. I, I could you. be wrong. Right, right, you right. You see what I'm so, saying? Yeah, yeah. Dick riding ain't yeah. never been a, a, a viable form of transportation, which, you know, that may have been a dick riding moment. But I also feel, you know, who niggas that are complaining, 
you know, Chris okay. Brown, uh, what, Soldier Boy. I mean, they on some dick riding shit, too. You mad because you didn't get on the album? Nah, man, come on now. Come on, dog. Come on. What? What? Wait, wait, okay. Where's Soldier Boy going to fit in on a Kanye album? Don't waste my time, man. Don't waste my time having me doing joints and you're not going to use them. Nah, nah, he needs to. I, you know, you, when, when niggas get niggas in the studio, it's really just absorbing niggas' energy, right? Okay. That's what it is. No, I'm you know, sure. I'm maybe, sure. Maybe, 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 they, maybe there was some uh, some bullshit that Soldier could throw out there that he could utilize. That's all it is. I mean, I'm sure Chris. I ain't gonna say I'm sure. I don't know. I, I wasn't in the room with him. I haven't been in the room with him. But I'm sure they probably cut some stuff from my album here or there. Oh, it happens I, all the time. It does. But maybe this was something back door we don't know about because these aren't two dudes, in my opinion, that would just come out from that position if they didn't have a leg to stand on. That's all I'm saying. It's a dick rider moment. They want to be part of the man. How big is this moment? I didn't even want to talk about this shit. You know, I don't want to talk about. You know the what cat. I'm saying? You know, so, I don't care so, from that book but, but, it, but it's a big enough moment to be like, you know what I'm saying? Subscribe yeah. to what? What's the name of this shit, bro? <laughs> 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 Tell subscribe to, to Platinum yeah. Mics. Go go to your oh, YouTube shit, channel, man. hit the notification <laughs> bell, and subscribe to Platinum Mics. Please follow <laughs> at Counterculture Robs. So, but no, like we said last week, though, we was doing our uh, what was last week? Best three album run. Yeah. And you mentioned Kanye. I'm like, I don't want to talk about Kanye because as a person, this man tried to get us to sell out to a modern day Hitler, in my opinion. I don't care about the Republican Democrat perspective of it. You want to be a Republican, that's fine. I'm not knocking that. But I don't care if Trump was a Democrat. Trump is an awful person. The things he said, the things he's done. And this man came to the culture and said, hey, let's follow this guy. No, man, I can't give him a pass for that. I can't. And the music is not good enough. And OK, here's the other thing, too. If we're going to accept Kanye, speaking of politics, it's time we accept Chrisette Michelle because all Chrisette Michelle did was go sing at the inauguration and we want to throw her to the woods. What they did to her? She went and sung at Trump's inauguration. Now, nobody don't want to do nothing with Chrisette Michelle. Oh, She's word. a sellout. Okay. But Kanye walking around with the mega hat on, campaigning for Donald Trump. It's just like these Michael Jackson, R. Kelly people. Yeah. Oh, Mike Jackson, we're cool with him, but throw R. Kelly to the wolves. Come on now. We, we got to stop all this hypocrisy stuff. Right. We got to protect the culture better than this. But my bad, I went on a tangent back to the Dunder album. Yeah, because it was, you know, um, shit, I don't know about music and politics, man, how they intermingle and mix. But I do know, all right, I guess it does. Because the baby, okay, they kicked him off because of whatever. Yeah, his comments at the Rolling Loud. Yeah, whatever his comments may have been, which, you know, it's. Worse has been said. I'm not saying I'm supportive of what he said. Right. But right. worse has been said in the history of hip hop. But when a young lady is called the B word, when a young lady is treated a certain way on a set of a uh, music video, we bypass that. But there's a certain segment of the population that they seem is more important. I believe all of them need to be treated the same way or protected the same way is my point. I'm not saying one is more important or less important than the other. But what he said was out of pocket. I'm not going to say it wasn't. But what about all the stuff these women had to endure through music and history? Mm -hmm. We're just going to ignore that, push that to the side. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't say that, the baby. Can't say that kind of stuff. It's people out there you're offending when this is all of that old mess. That's what I'm saying. We got to stop this a la carte, who we going to protect, what we going to do. What's that got to do with the music, though? You don't like the music? I don't like nothing about Kanye. So, so okay, he could he could have put, well, put, put, put out the put out the chronic right now. And you then I would have had a dig ride moment. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been able to say, okay, it's good no, music. I ain't on the dick riding, you know, wave. Uh, I just bought, um, you know. I mean, you buy uh, Jordans, though. You buy Jordans. I haven't bought a pair of Jordans in probably a decade. So, you know, no. Um, but there, there are other people that making stuff that are in the same lane that you can go to. There's less money or just looks better? Or... No, I mean, I... Kanye has made it relevant for now shoes to be weird and ugly, shaped. Overpriced. I ain't talking about the price because at the end of the day, they only uh, a couple hundred dollars or a hundred fifty dollars like regular shoes are. Okay. It's, it's the it's the 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 aftermarket that that makes them expensive. So, you know, you can find people like I, I bought a pair of shoes from from a guy on Instagram. He charged me two hundred and twenty five dollars for the shoes. You told me about that. And he, yeah, he's yeah. not a not not somebody that's famous like that. Well, it's so, not about you know, being famous. It's, it's about, it's about what you like. It's about what you like it's and the you quality like. of it. If you like Nipsey Hussle's music, you're going to spend one hundred dollars for that that mixtape when he did that. I'm gonna you know what I mean, nah, I, yeah, yeah, I'm not. But, you know, I, I, I didn't know gouging the gouging the community. Yeah. 
No, no, nah, nah. you, huh? you, 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 not gouging your community. Your, your, your fan base knows they're gonna rock with you. You know okay. what I'm saying? You know what? Hip hop forever. I rock with you on hip hop forever. And if I would never overcharge said, people. By the way, you know what? Check out hip hop forever Get your hip hop apparel t shirts. Go ahead. On my bad. Had to get the but, plug in. But, but the same way, you know what I'm saying? Someone may be like, boom, here. My shirt is X amount. Here, 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 here. I get you changed. Nah, hold that. You know what I mean? Okay, that's love. So, that's support. So, you know, people going to pay, especially this music. You know, you got your small core fan base uh, that are going to do this. If I had to pay for this Kanye album to hear it, then, you know, we wouldn't be here because I'm, I'm not doing that. You know so what I mean? So you didn't appreciate it or like it enough to pay for it? Uh, I mean, I actually, I do pay for it. Being that I'm on these That's music true, the streaming things, services, but yeah. but not yeah. that same not twenty dollars for an album like I used to when I was wanting to go buy whoever I want to listen. You're not to. going looking for it once right. you hear it. You're not downloading it. Right, it's, it's off your catalog. It's not in there. I ain't gonna hold you. I might I might play a couple songs mm-hmm. after um after I'm done with it, man. Nah, I went through it back and forth because I tr- I honestly tried to like it because I saw so many people on social media mm-hmm. raving about it, and I just want to know what am I missing. Help me out here, and the joints that I like, just, just, just it was what was the one? I forgot the name of it that quick. Uh, the weekend. Okay. I like the joint with the weekend and the joint with let Jay Electronica, but it was the weekend and Jay Electronica that I like. It wasn't the Kanye. Okay. And the production side of it just sounds too dark. It's like they took a keyboard and just playing one or two keys all the way through. Right, it, right, it, you right. got the joint with the piano, like, okay, what's about to happen? What's about to happen? And nothing ever happens. That's why I say the production sounds incomplete. And I don't want to take a shot at the producers that did it. Hats off, because they, they about to get the bag. I love to be in their situation. But it just doesn't sound... If this would have been someone's first album, okay, cool. And maybe I'm expecting too much for Kanye. When mm-hmm. you give me late registration, college dropout, all the other stuff you've worked on with other people, I'm expecting more from this. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm expecting more from him. Mm. And to me, I feel like he's cheating the culture. I feel like he's like, you know what? No matter what I put out, they're going to accept it no matter what. Is that how it's been with previous projects with him? To me, I felt like he had more appreciation for the, uh, for the community, for the love, for the Until culture. Until when? Recently. What, what, this album or this a album couple right albums here. or what? Well, it all started with the Trump stuff. You took everybody for granted. Has he put out music during the Trump administration or not? I think this is his first project. If it was something that slid through, I missed okay. it. Okay. Are we not counting the, uh, you know, the the spiritual or the the, the church albums or whatever? I, I, I'm not. Didn't he get sued by some kind of choir or something like that? I don't know anything about that. Gotcha, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Like I said, with him, I checked out. Because I like when he started that Trump mess, I was out. All right. I'm, and, and now, you know me. Anybody that gets involved in politics, I'm rocking with you because I, I love to get engaged in politics. But when you support that guy, it's not that you supported Republicans, it's that you supported this guy. I got to check out. Because to me, but you can sit up and say, I can support Donald Trump, to me, you got a character flaw. <laughs> it's not that you supported a Republican, you supported Trump. Right. So to me, you have a serious character flaw, and it tells me something about you that I need to just look at you and back away. And I don't want to say any names of what, you, what me and you talked about before. <laughs> I knew something about that guy. You know where I'm going. That told me I need to leave. And then years later, you find out, you know what? I was right. Yeah. I was right about him. All right. So that, that's where I am with him. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm out. <laughs> I think West Side Gun killed his verse on that, though. Uh, you know, when I first heard those two two songs, the, the you know, what, uh, Keep My Spirit Alive. I mean, but that's when, West Side Gun. That's Griselda. They hey, don't miss. Hey, when he said, you know, flush the... Flush the dope down the toilet in time. Thank God. You know what I mean? Like, won't he, won't I mean, he do it? You know what I mean? We talked about that last week <laughs> that and the week was, before the first two. Griselda, man. That shit was beautiful. Them cat, they, like, what were they? But I didn't feel Conway's verse. Huh? I didn't feel Conway's verse. Okay, but you overall. Know, this is a nigga that's the grimiest of all time. You know what I mean? Nigga got love in his heart now. But he it's trying not to a total, kick that shit now. It's not man. a total miss. You know what I mean? Shit. I don't it's, know what he was talking about. I mean, he's trying to fit the I, I get it, man. Now I see why he was in a dress. He's trying to get on. Now I see why oh. Benny Now I see why Benny didn't fit in on that. Okay, you, you're going somewhere. I don't know where you're going. Uh, Benny still, I mean, West Side, that's my favorite out of okay. out of that camp. So he's he's a chameleon. He when can fit When you say anywhere. Benny didn't fit in, is it something going on? No, nah, he, he he wasn't on. Um, on the Kanye joint. On the on the Kanye joint. He, he, he was out there when they was recording, mm-hmm. but, you know, he had to dip, you know, got yeah. out, whatever. Didn't get a chance to drop music. 
Uh, which, you know, it's a good storyline. I get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that's you think he heard whatever, like I'm pulling plus out plus of he, Plus he's he going to be on Drake joint. He's been screaming for half a year that he got a Drake feature. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, Kanye claims he wanted to drop the same day as Drake. He claims a label released the album early. He uh, said he wanted to drop the same yeah, day as Drake. They ain't trying to fuck the money up. Huh? They ain't trying to fuck the money up. Yeah, you know but I mean? believe, like, like my, my man said, I believe that's all cap. Kanye, you being the man that you are, you saying that you couldn't control the label dropping your album? At the end of the day, he's still, you know, worker huh? for the label. Worker B. For the label. You know I, what I mean? I, this is true. But and I guess you, the label. You figure someone that powerful could be say, like, nah, stop this here. Well, wait a minute. In this day and age, what's wrong with dropping on the same day? Yeah, to me, to me I, I feel like it shouldn't be a bigger deal as what it was back in the day. Back in Correct. the day, I knew Tuesday, um, Every Tuesday. these albums are coming out. I gotta you, make a life decision. You ain't got you know so much saying? money. I can't get all of them. Word, I need to make so, yeah, a life decision. Hey, which one you get? Yeah, you know okay. what I mean? You get that one, I get this there one. There we go, we you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know, yeah. some days if four albums came out, I can maybe get two. I can't and, get, yeah, I can't yeah, get all four. From that. But in know? this day and age, it doesn't matter. So I don't understand what the big issue about that was. If the label truly did that, I would like to get some clarification on why it matters. Because like I say, hey, if I go to my YouTube or my Spotify, my Apple Music, Android, and download it, yeah. yeah, I'm already like you said. I'm already paying the fee. Yeah. So, so, so Benny got a got a, a feature with Drake. With Drake, and and that's what you know. Uh, probably, I don't know. Maybe he was in his feelings about that. But what bigger Trump would it have to have? Yo, I got him too. You know what I'm saying? So, but like I said, Benny, Benny, I can't hear him talking about you know whatever he's talking about. Like like Westside killed it. Okay. You know what I'm saying? He's talking that gutter street shit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, evading prison, thank God. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, Kanye just happy he's still here, you know? They shot him in the back of his wig and then his face is twisted up. So, you know what I'm saying? He's happy, his heart full of full of love and shit, you, you know what I'm saying? Man. No, it, 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 I ain't saying nothing. That ain't no shot, you know what I'm saying? I know I it ain't a shot, niggas. it's just... Grimiest of all times is my favorite <laughs> album. That's a mixtape. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? I, I guarantee a lot of people ain't heard that one. That's the one right there, man. What year range was that? What's the span on that? Probably 17. 2017. 17. That's the. That's what made me was a it him? true. Was it him or Kanye? Uh, I was about to say Kanye. Conway. Which one said I got the silliest bars? Which one said that? Conway. Conway. Yeah. Okay, Conway. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah. So, Benny, you know, he may not have been able to fit in in, in this album. Like that, you get what I'm saying? I don't think so, cause remember, like I said last week, his tone is his tone. He's so I don't see where shit. he, I don't you know see what where I'm he saying? fits in this. Well, it's just, it's just a, you know, especially just, the vibe, the way the album. I don't want to hear Jesus rap from, from Benny. I don't want to hear from Kanye, but I get your point. You know what? Kurt Franklin could never, never what? TJ TD Jakes could never deliver deliver this gospel like this. <laughs> So you feeling it like that? <laughs> nah, I ain't feeling like that, but I'm just saying, Kurt Franklin could never. You know what I mean? Oh, my God. He a million dollar artist, uh, multi-million yeah, selling that's another one that's, that, that's, right? another one that's robbing the culture, though. That's another one. Not T.D. Jakes, it's but not I, my think lane. Kurt, I think you know Kurt Franklin mean? is another one that's robbing the culture. It's not my lane, but, you know. Yeah, I got to say, we have to get to a point where we have to say, you know what? I know this is popular, but it's not good. And I think right now in this album, and if I'm wrong, I'm out of pocket. Y'all just let me know. At Van Gaither. Leave your comments below. What do you think about Kanye's new album, Donda? I'm Van Gaither. This is Counterculture Robs. Platinum Mics. Hit the subscribe button on your YouTube and the bell notification. We got more episodes coming to you. But on this album right here, what would you say is your favorite joint? The one with Westside? Uh, yeah, yeah. that that Because it's, it's a vibe, man. It ain't okay. like he's spitting lyrical shit. Uh, Jesus Lord. Then there was another one. Give me a second. You know what this album sounds uh, like? It's, I, I it sounds think, like um, something in a hookah lounge. Something in a hookah lounge. Now, yeah. That you said it's a vibe. It's, it's a vibe, yeah. Yeah, it sounds like just straight up hookah music. Like right, you're in a hookah right. lounge, like you down at the joint on Juniper, whatever street that is in Atlanta, just smoking a hookah. This is, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm out on this one. I know I'm going I, in on him, but I, yeah. I know I didn't like that junior, though. Something, something, more money. You know what I mean? That one didn't. But remote control, that, that's probably one of the joints that I like. Okay, okay, and off the grid. I did like 24. 24. Remote control. Remember we talked about that, remote control and 24 and Jesus Lord. So I did like three out of, how many on there, 20 something? 27, that's too long. 27 joints, and then it's like four part twos. You know what I'm saying? He ain't do nothing, but like, you know, you could have had the joint that was uh, with the baby. You could have just threw that on the first version of it. Just put that verse on there. Yeah, and then, maybe, and then uh, why I, is Larry Hoover's son talking? Why I need to hear that, man? 
Man, that's all part of the spiritual thing. Get my daddy out of jail. They said when I was in the eighth grade, I could come home. And when I was in the twelfth grade, he come home. My daughter and I graduated. My grand, my father has yet to kiss his grandkids. He's trying to get his dad home. That's all. All right. I mean, I, I respect it, but I don't know that Larry Hoover will ever come home. And I don't know what was going on for him to say, okay, he'll be home when you in eighth grade. He'll be home with you in the twelfth grade. And that is man that had kids of his own. He's still not home, so I don't know if they're just hanging on, just keeping him there. Whatever he did, I think he should be out by now. That's just me. I don't think the crime fit this much longevity in jail. But you got to remember, Kim was on the, uh, his wife was on the prison reform thing, getting people out of jail. So if Kanye, being from Chicago, of course, was it Gangster Disciples, if I'm not wrong? Of course, he's going to go and try to help get the man out of jail. He's he from Chicago, so hey. If Trump helped Kim get whoever out of jail, then, hey, can you turn around and help my man get out of jail as well? So I don't see nothing wrong with that. All right. Well. You know, it's, 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 a, it's a plea. And then again. I ain't got nothing for that. <laughs> <laughs> you never speechless, man. You ain't got nothing for that. Nah. What else you got over there, man? <laughs> um, <laughs> nah, you got it, man. Oh, first time I liked a Young Thug song. That's crazy. Shout out to my nigga Fat Ass Flint who first introduced me to that dude back in the day, and he was wearing like a Hooters tank top, and I'm like, I'll never listen to that Is that your boy Eastside Flint? That's the same yeah, cat yeah, that we yeah, talked yeah, to? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. If you're listening, listen man, we're still waiting on you to come on, dog. The invitation is still open. <laughs> I never listen to, uh, to uh, Young an Thug. album of a guy that's like that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, you know, apparently, uh, you know, he makes some good music com- to, to a lot of people out there. And, uh, you know, I, I went into this album listening Without an expectation, without looking at the playlist. That's the way you so, should go into it. So I don't know what none of these niggas sound like. Okay. All right? So when I like a song, and then I can go back after I done heard everything, oh, shit, that was, um, what's his name? Young Thug. Uh, or um, I know what Lil Dirk sounds like a little bit. I know what Lil Baby sounds like now a little bit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Those weren't songs that I like, but, you know. A lot of these other niggas, a lot of the extra joints on there, they baby. all sounded the same. Speaking of Lil Baby, having this conversation with someone the other day, do you think he's the best new rapper out today? I, I don't, I don't, I, I haven't heard enough, enough of okay. his music. So you that's know? another I, way I, I don't, first I don't, I don't listen, I don't, li- I don't like it when a lot of these niggas throw that, uh, what's that goofy sounding shit on their voice, man? Auto-tunes. Like, what do they sound like for real? You know Let me hear I mean? you. I yeah, like like Lil Durk. I mean, you, you, you they throw the glitter on their voice, man. I mean, but Kanye uh, had some auto tunes going on in this joint. I didn't like his voice. I don't okay. care. <laughs> you know what I'm right. saying? That ain't that ain't what I listen to. I mean, you with the producing, that's how they gonna make you sound. But yeah, I, I don't. Nah, yeah, man. One or two why, songs why, why, here and there, but not the whole album. Yeah, that, all the, that's why they all sound the same to me. That's why I don't know who's who. Yeah. So you know, when I go through this, now I can truly yo. You know what? Five year old foreign. His verse mm-hmm. on uh, whatever joint that he was on, that uh, OK, OK. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Guess who was on the other side of that song? Who's that? Lil Yachty. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I never go into it thinking I'm a, I didn't care for his verse, but you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I was like, but damn, I didn't overall. hate it. Yeah. I didn't hate it. Versus if you, you read the saying? credits beforehand. I ain't listen. I, I, by the time his verse comes on, I've already fast forwarded. it. Yeah. I'm an ignorant and negative nigga. You know what I'm saying? I go through that type shit. Counterculture rock. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, but. Yeah, I, I I don't know what these niggas sound like. So, yeah. you know, when I get a good verse from them, oh, shit. Which is, I and think. And that can spark a, a flame to be like, you know what? Let me get off this ignorant shit and let me go see what they talk about. I, I think Lil Baby is worth a listen. He sound like he rapping through his teeth. Like, nigga, like, nigga that shit annoys me a little bit, bro. But, I, you know, yeah. I you know, being in Atlanta, you got to love, love little baby, don't you? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to. I mean, yeah, like niggas I said ready, earlier. ready to ride about that little baby. I get it, man. I, I listen to it, see okay. what it's about. Can you tell the difference from him and the baby? Are you familiar with the baby? Yeah, the baby. He snaps. Okay, so. He snaps. All right. Yeah. Okay. Because I was just, because between him, NLE Chopper. I never heard him. NLE Chopper? Yeah. Check him out. Uh, he, I, he may be a little too, he, he, I'm going to leave that one on. A little auto-tune, nigga? He ain't too far different from what we're talking about. 
then I don't want him. Yeah, yeah, but, but I think he, he he's a young, he's 19, 20, I can't remember how old he is. He's probably younger than that. Shit, you can but still he, be young and, and make good music. You he makes saying? good, if I'm in the club, not the club, but the lounge, because I don't do clubbing yeah, like that, but if I'm sitting somewhere. I don't somewhere, listen to music for the clubs or the lounge. Okay. A lot of the yeah, songs, he a, ain't lot got of cypher music. a lot of my, a lot of my fate, it ain't even got to be a cypher, because you know what? I listen to music with vibes. You get what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. I think so, you might like his vibe. That's why I said, just check him out. All right. Just, 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 just go right. in. But, with this same Kanye album, go in with an open mindset, see what you think. Mm. You know, speaking of a New York recent cat, newer cat, Dave East, you follow him? Check him out? Yeah. Okay. He ain't Dave East. I was just wondering if he was up on Dave East. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a cat I'm trying to figure out why he don't get more love. Mm. Dave he, East. He did, a, he did a joint with um, Styles P, Beloved. You Still know what I'm saying? Styles P was on this joint right here. Styles right? P? When he on Dunder? Yeah, yeah, him. Uh, he was on that. He, because you was so caught up in Jay Electronica's verse, you probably didn't hear him. He, he was on the same one? Same joint. Jesus him, Lord? Him, uh, what's his name? Jada Kiss and um, Sheep. Same joint. I missed that. I, yeah, because once I, the same must have been after Jay Electronica. Yeah. Because yeah. after Jay yeah. launched, after Jay, I was done. Yeah, they so did now that song I'll go back twice and get, for some reason. I don't know why. That's dumb. So I need to go back and get out and listen to because I, I, I totally missed that. It sounds, uh, sounds like Jada Kiss was throwing shots at Santana again. He's talking about jail teeth and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a funny nigga, bro. <laughs> I'm just ready for them to come to Atlanta. The locks, please bring the tour to Atlanta. We we waiting. Oh, but, that means Dipset's gonna be there. That means they on tour Benny together, Siegel right? And them's gonna be there. Benny Siegel, yeah. all of yeah. Yeah, I, that's, I, a, that's, be, a, that's a that's a fire ass lineup right there. Yeah, I will be front row and center. I'm trying that's to a fire ass yeah. lineup. Actually, I would I hope they do that joint outside. I don't even want that to be in over there. That would be a nice outside concert, Centennial Park somewhere, mm. right here in Atlanta. That being said, we're about to wrap this thing up. Platinum Mites, hit the like button, subscribe, leave your comments below what you think about the Kanye's album, Donda.